By the way, I hope you don't hear your voice feeding back through my mic. The sensitivity is no, I, I do not. That's amazing. You, you sound oh, so I got, crisp, dude. Oh, I got RTX voice on. Great. Oh, wait, can I have that? Is that NVIDIA? Uh, yeah, it's for when you have it's RTX nice CPU. Reduction. What? It, is it noise reduction? Kind of? Yeah, it's AI denoising. It does a, like, right now, if I had speakers playing music just as loud as I am talking, you wouldn't hear me. I mean, sorry, you wouldn't hear the music. Um, I just heard a honk. Oh. <laughs> Do I hear a honk? I heard a you honk. Should, you shouldn't have heard that. Oh, there's a massive smile on my face. Hi, I'm Graham music's from Blackmagic hide. Design, and today I'd love to give you an update <laughs> on what's new with DaVinci Resolve 17. Now with COVID, we're not launching this guy does a trade show updates. like we normally do. Hilarious so we dude. thought we'd do things a little bit differently. <laughs> we're going to be uh, using trainers to show each part of DaVinci. Um, I'll show the cut page, but the trainers can show the other parts. It allows Shit. them to show you cut in detail much better um, with different God sections of DaVinci. Because obviously DaVinci itself is a <laughs> really it big uh, tool. <laughs> this is also a very big software update. But before we start, um, this is something I want to make a note of so you understand a little bit better what we're doing. We're going to be using screen recordings, and so we're going to be using low resolution monitors so you can see the whole UI. So you can really see what we're doing because we're moving around the whole user interface. It means the UI will be a little bit bigger, but it's a bit more cluttered. So normally when you're using DaVinci, you know, you've got a bigger monitor. Um, in our case, we're going to be using lower resolution monitors so the user interface will be a little bit bigger. But it means you can see what we're doing. Um, so I think if you're watching the video stream, you just want to play it full screen. Then you can see the UI details better and see what we're doing. I think what he's saying is DaVinci so Resolve is unusable color. on 1920 by 1080. Now we've got a really big update like basically <laughs> big updates for color i'm happy he was um, making the distinction is heritage so it's an exciting to be I have a really a major that I'm change to DaVinci color correction so there has also been a significant update to resolve's internal color management and a number of improvements have been made to the color page user interface i think they changed the buttons we'll begin with the brand new hdr primary grading palette designed for targeted grading of wide latitude media the tonal range of each wheel can be reviewed and customized in the zones panel Oh. The graph represents the luminance range in stops. Another addition to the palettes is the Color Warper, a mesh-based warping tool that allows for quick, intuitive adjustments of color and luminance simultaneously. I've seen that before. The expand arrow there was at the top turns the like Color Warper for, into a floating uh, palette that can be resized for better detail control. Now it's an actual feature. By locking off a luminance section of the image, really complicated. you can darken and color the sky without affecting the data <laughs> in the shadow. Yeah, right. And then click on the clouds in the viewer. For and something that is pretty much a. For are you familiar with the contest. HSL sliders from uh, Lightroom? Yeah. Compare the image yeah. before and after yeah, to see it. how much detail it's the color warper has different. brought into the sky <laughs> without affecting the surrounding areas. To begin tracking, oh, click please. and drag in the viewer to draw a small stroke on the person you wish to track. Small strokes are better as they will follow movement without interruption. This is your job, man. The mask overlay <laughs> button is used to review oh, the no. selection. Just as my coworker is like, oh, I'm ready to go on Discord. You're satisfied with the mask? Use the transform controls to run an analysis. That's an automatic roto. Oh my god. <laughs> this before and after comparison shows how you can use the magic mask to pop someone out of a visually busy environment. Or for Why did she put the line on the chin? Like how they define the rest of the character. The GPU scopes panel has improved scale and styling options for the waveform and vector scope. This includes the ability to change the waveform graticule scale to display in HDR knit values. The expanded GPU scopes now feature a 3x3 view, allowing you to set up multiple identical scope types with unique parameters. That is massive. That is amazing. And you can now also pop out the curves palette to allow for much finer curve adjustments. Some that additional support well. and functionality has been provided and add your LUT location. After refreshing, any subfolders in that location will appear as folders in the LUT panel. That is massive as well. And as with regular LUTs, you'll be able to while false color allows you to check the exposure values of your video yes. based on specific camera model ranges. Oh, it's so good. The Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve 17 is faster and more powerful than ever. In edit selection mode, you can solo scrub the audio for any clip anywhere in the timeline. Just hold shift and command while dragging over the clip. When you scrub a clip with the edit selection tool, the corresponding track is temporarily soloed. Keyboard shortcuts hold shift to zoom vertically around the selected track. Hold command to scroll earlier or later in the timeline. Or scroll without a modifier to scroll up or down oh, to higher like or lower tracks. Scrolling. And finally, you can hold shift I option together to scroll right the waveform the scroll, yeah. zoom without changing volume. 
Wait, we, wait, we couldn't do that? Also you can't do that as transient well. detection, which can no, be used to automatically language. identify transients inside huh. audio clips. Studio users can now open, sync, and play back master files in the Resolve timeline. Goodness. Let's preview a master file in the media page with a selected track. Or use Fairlight's Ooh. Space View scope to visualize really all cool. the objects used in the master file at the same time. Well, I think that's so new. you can the see how they view. relate to the immersive space and one another. Solo tracks to isolate their objects in the Space View scope. Or change a track's color. So the corresponding object stands out among the that other objects. That is amazing. Playback and, it's all and about monitoring panels is fully too, integrated so with Dolby's they're embracing customization more. So you can it's monitor, lovely. trim, and downmix. Oh yeah, I didn't pick formats. up on that. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's great. The new Fairlight Audio Core engine is an advanced high-performance audio engine designed to let you work with up to 2,000 tracks of simultaneous playback with extremely low latency on a single system. Thousand trucks. This completely scalable hybrid engine eliminates the need to run multiple systems for large format oh, look projects. At that. Calvin, what the hell? <laughs> to support the new audio engine and <clears throat> high track count capabilities is the revolutionary new Flexbus busing architecture designed for the ultimate flexibility in user defined bus types. How many audio and tracks do you control. need? Yes. Flexbus uses logical <laughs> cascading buses. Another awesome new feature in the Fairlight page is the ability to link separate mono clips so you can edit them as if they were a single clip. Once linked, you can also render the linked clips into a new multi-channel file. Here is the new multi-channel clip in the media pool oh, and in the timeline. Um, but we've also had a lot of people linking asking about clips is getting great. it to work with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, but linking like audio clips, so we think it'll take and then you can pan all of them together. So I think um, before you have to take all of them and send really them to like a bus and then pan customers. that bus. Um, who are using the really big mm, But this is a little so more really intuitive for everyone, people. we believe. Tilted up, that's tilted up. You there. know what I'm worried about? Um, but you can also with those flush it the desk if you cut a hole because it's got a, hmm. a, a ridge around the outside. They're only so compatible with the Venture Resolve. Now, all the faders are the same as the studio consoles. They're really good. Oh, I hope not. The best quality possible faders we could find. <laughs> I never looked into it, but that, um, that's like smooth and a lot of those nice DaVinci and, products. Um, nice DC motors, beautiful bearings. Now, all the faders and knobs are touch sensitive, so the knob here and the faders Give me one for you with a camera, please. And the UI will display when you're touching, it'll tell you that you You can see that it's selected the LC, uh, the the EQ parameters, and it's also, yeah, there's a curve there, and if I adjust again, oops. Yeah, you again, know what? You Actually, like, how is this see relevant nice to DaVinci the Resolve so 17? Same as if I adjust the compressor. <laughs> Sorry if I Oh, good point. Compressor. This is like you a, can see now that the, the massive knobs in the bottom, freaking the, the ad break in the middle of the stream. <laughs> So everything about the channel is displayed on this one display. I hope there's some specific really, functionality, really nice. I guess, that's special And you get all this, this just by plugging in a monitor. But I, I don't so know very, anything very cool. about consoles. Now, the Fairlight desktop console uh, will be available that. before the end of the year. It'll be priced at $3,495. Expensive. You know, we think it's the highest quality desktop audio console available. You know, it's an amazing console. And it really fills the gap between a mouse and a studio console. Um, and it'll be really exciting, I think, when it's available later this year. But it also just looks great. I mean, I think it just looks really nice. I mean, when you're playing, you see all the meters are up and it just looks really nice. It just, uh, it's incredible. I think having the LCD on, it's really, really nice. Now, well, I'll just better stop, I guess, so I can keep talking. So look, a lot of the, um, one thing that we've also noticed over the last few months is a lot of Fairlight customers wanted to build custom consoles. Now we have the two, <laughs> They're going three, Apple four, on and five bay consoles, uh, but a lot of people would like to build their own. And so now, we sell no. these uh, Fairlight consoles in modular <laughs> form because also a lot of people like to not fully populate a console when they buy it so they can buy the modules as they go. But we wanted to help customers build custom furniture. So the first step and Wait, one what? of the first requests people had is putting their own monitors or televisions on. Why are they selling furniture now? Look at this. What, <laughs> what is going on? So this is what the inside of the console looks like. Um, and what we have is we have all these uh, pins, these mounting pins here. And what they do is they, oops, it's really heavy. <laughs> um, what they do is they, the, the uh, is this is a, I don't know the part that will be available. Now what happens is all the modules that you buy with Fairlight, if you buy a giant console, you kind of get all this, but these side mounting arms, you put the, uh, the various modules in and the monitor sticks in there. And then this will then pip, you know, uh, slide into the big console and it pivots up and down. So what you really want is have these and you need the mounting bar and let you build your own custom furniture. It's a little bit big, so I'll move it out of the way here. Now all these parts will be available now. 
and the prices will be on the DaVinci website. And there's a whole range of different options you need. If yeah, I'm in no place to judge the significance of Fairlight right okay, now, so but now we're up to the man, I'm page. really now, interested to see how many people are excited about this or what thoughts are within the you know, audio community. You know, if, and if you buy one of those, when you're building the console in the, build, in the console application, in the DaVinci software, you can actually, this will, the software will see this as being one of the monitors. Then you can use your own monitors. So I think that's pretty nice. What we'll do is let's create an edit Maya is like one of the most widely used programs yeah, in we'll the effects industry. And I think and they we'll tried to show it off once and it crashed on them. And it's known for crashing. An uh, what, what is it in the an editing point. world, to be honest? Yeah. What let's is it? Maya's for no, no, 3D I mean, animation. Well, what yeah. isn't known for crashing? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like all the memes, you know, it Premiere crashing, After Effects crashing. Now, one of the new things in yeah, TV people are even like Blender doesn't crash. Blender crashes it. on me all the time. You know what the There's a larger thing effects is? icon the, down the bottom. They're, they're just the taking the effects the from the so color page also worth noting, all these yeah. effects and adding them to the cut page. Is, and they're taking effects from the edit page and adding them to the cut page. Yeah. I'm a little worried because the cut page... So it's Mark, almost like they're trying to make a totally confusing. new so video time, editor like. inside their video editor. You know? Yeah, it does kind of feel that way. It's I don't nice see a real benefit to it yet, honestly. No, I mean, me neither. It's, 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 the and there's the already other see. editors that are targeted at, like, okay, you want to make a quick yeah. and simple edit. There are also editors that, like, AI cuts your footage and it actually works well. You know, like, what, who is this for? The cut yeah, we page. also have some new timeline features. You've noticed that we've got a... I could be wrong, but does this look now. like they're kind of leaning into the style of Final Cut Pro? Larger, Final Cut Pro is known for its speed, the isn't it? The big thing we've got is uh, when you insert a clip now... Mm. I mean, I've seen some Final Cut Pro stuff. So, for example, if I put a... If you don't have the magnetic timeline uh, stuff, it, it's not... And I'll uh, the, uh, it's not Final Cut. Here's a nice clip. You know what? I might actually use that. Only because you get more screen real estate. Like the cut page gives you a bigger monitor uh, than the multicam interface on the edit page. That's a pretty big preview. I don't know if you could have that big of a preview on the edit page. Uh, just because Resolve doesn't allow you to move things around that much. I can go along and see what else we've got. Um, there's a bit where she's putting something in the box there. So we can go camera one. I can trim the out of that. And I can do a source override on that. So that's all pretty good. So that's all there is to it. You just go along and you can find which source is the best source and you can add that in. Now, it, one thing that's worth noting, if you've selected one of the camera numbers, say you come in number two and you don't want to select that, there's an escape key up on the keyboard here so you can push that. In fact, if you double push escape, it does undo. But if you push escape, you come out of the camera. If you push a camera number, you go into the camera. Push escape, you come back out of the camera. So if you don't like the camera, you've selected, you know, I don't want that one. Just push escape and you come back out of it. People are going to accidentally undo. Where there's some action. Um, so you can bump it a little bit. Sometimes you can put... Uh, it's the exactly the same demo they did last time for the cut page. And scrolling along, adding uh, uh, clips. So it's as simple as that. Just scroll along and add clips. Oh, now the transition no, type no, is indicated no. on the bottom here. And I've been doing cut. Look at the numpad. It goes uh, from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like the numpad of a keyboard. Then when he cuts back to the cut page, look at this layout. It should match the numpad, right? So it's actually like intuitive. So it's so it's on the uh, as it is on the numpad, it should be on the screen. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they should have modeled it on numpad, especially because you're never gonna type on it. It's only purpose is to cut camera angles. Uh, there's no reason to go, you know, to have it numbered like that. Now we thought it'd be really funny is if a lot of times when you're editing, say a music video or something like that, it doesn't really matter what camera you, you cut to and really quite on the duration that you are either. So we thought it'd be funny to create a random function. So if you push the live override button twice, <laughs> well. it's got the word random on the front. It'll just pick a, a um, camera source and of a roughly random duration and just put it down. And if you keep doing it, what? it'll keep placing transitions. I can push dissolve and it'll do them with dissolves. <laughs> and now, you know, this is not the, really the best media for it. But if I go back to the timeline, now I've got pretty much a random edit. Oops, go back to the timeline. And I've got this sort of random edit that if that was a music video or something, that can be a lot of fun. 
and you can. This is like a parody of what an editor actually does. What is what is going on? Who who listen like black magic? Holy like, imagine this conversation they were having. Like, yo, let's add a button that just adds random cuts to your edit. Isn't that gonna be fun for like music videos and shit? Like, isn't that isn't that what what kids do those days? It's random cuts, random duration, random camera. <laughs> do that because oh there's God. weird tax problems around the world. But if you buy it through a reseller, then we'll be able to get the key keyboard and bundle that. So it'll be really exciting. So that means you don't need to buy both. You don't have to buy the DaVinci Resolve Studio and the keyboard. You can just buy the key, um, DaVinci Resolve Studio and you get the keyboard for free. Now this is just an introductory offer. It'll be available for the next few months, but we think it should be really exciting. You can let Resolve do the hard work of aligning multiple clips using either timecode or audio waveforms. That's nice. That's Once really you nice. have your clips synced, it's now simply a matter of creating the multicam clip directly from a timeline or compound clip. That is massive. Before perfect for ensuring the different to do angles are set backwards. up and aligned just the way you need. You have to create the multicam and then recreate. DaVinci Resolve 17 um, now supports better handling of interlace timeline. footage. New options in the project settings allow you to deinterlace the footage using the DaVinci Resolve Neural Engine for much higher quality results when integrating archive footage in your progressive edits. And there is now full support for That's interlaced amazing. timelines. With the option enabled, all footage, including motion graphics and keyframed animations, are processed at the field level for smooth interlaced results. You can even step through the individual fields directly on the timeline. In DaVinci Resolve 17, Smart Reframe uses the DaVinci Resolve Neural Engine to automatically identify the main focus of the shot. I think I double did that. keyframes where necessary year, but to keep that subject it's in great frame. To get that too. It's, it's really cool, and I, I'd love to play with this. DaVinci Resolve 17 gives editors even more tools and enhancements to build commonly required visual effects without requiring you to leave the comfort of the edit page. The new 3D Resolve effect keyer lets you perform keen tasks using intuitive on-screen effect controls to select, refine, and mask the matte, all without the need to go to the fusion or color pages. That's good. That's really good. And you can I, make I it wonder... quicker to locate and select the exact effect. How is it going to look when you apply like six of them to one clip? That's what I'm worried about. Because in Premiere, like you have this big drop down and you see all the effects you applied. Uh, but in the inspector, what you just have you just scroll for like infinity. Um, so that's the thing I'm worried about. And corner pin an image quickly and location where your proxy files will be created. Then select the clips in the media pool and choose generate proxy media. Okay, yeah, so there was a big problem with uh, DaVinci proxies. Because you generate a proxy like using that system, uh, but the proxy would just go like you don't know where, and you can't actually you actually can't find it and send it to somebody else. They would generate their own proxy format, uh, which would only work in DaVinci Resolve. You you could never hand it off to anybody else. But now you can select what type of proxy you want and where you want it to go, which is great. The Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve 17 introduces several new features. These include Fusion Effect Templates, Shape Nodes, an Anim Curves modifier, the ability to convert and modify transitions, audio playback and waveforms, and several user interface updates. Oh, 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 oh that's... Templates are Fusion compositions we that didn't can be used as plugins audio on the Edit 4 Fusion. cut page. Remember that, guys. Be grateful. This brings the power of Fusion's tools to you an editor's no fingertips. Audio in Fusion. As an added bonus, these templates are stored as text files that are small enough to Creating email to people on your team on a or share beat? online with the Forget wider DaVinci Resolve community. Memorize the time code it was on and then do it in Fusion and then bring it back to, to the on Edit page. On the Fusion page. page, you can use almost any 2D way. or 3D node to create your desired effect. You can also right-click the bin and select Lock Bins to keep other editors from making any changes, even if you select another bin. 
<laughs> Keep them you out. Have a lock icon <laughs> next to them, and the other members of your Nobody team will Timothy see your collaborator icon color next to that bin. <laughs> That's if you my need trash. Access to a lock bin. <laughs> The chat functionality is a great way to ask for another editor to release that bin. DaVinci Resolve chat, that's... I, the that's page that's works a little differently in the sense that it is clip locking instead of timeline locking. But you do have the ability to play back the mix for anyone that's to actually review. Really, Just as really when you cool are on the edit page, people you will be to able to see any updates that are made on color and fusion in real time. They can With the collaboration in features in DaVinci and Resolve 17, change. Your entire team can work simultaneously on the oh, same yeah. project to edit, grade, composite, and mix faster than ever before. Obviously, so do sales of keyboards and, well, not that keyboard because we're giving it away for free, but, you know, sales of keyboards Wait, and audio consoles and color huh? panels what? also help uh, uh, pay for engineering. Who gets that a just free keyboard? I get a free keyboard. So <laughs> we hope you like the new DaVinci Resolve 17. We hope, of course, you send yours, I'll send you mine. <laughs> um, we hope you really like this update and we can't wait to see how you use the new features. And that's always the most exciting spot. So thanks Thank very much Lord. for watching and, and take care and talk soon. Bye. So free free with what? <laughs> I don't That's gotta be that's gotta be with the purchase of something. I think you made a mistake. What do you mean free keyboard? <laughs> I, I don't think that keyboard's free. Uh I think you talked prices about it. What? <laughs> free keyboard.